The Big Drive Home is on 1077 Music for Life. Nigel Nicholson as we head down till 6 o'clock. And I have the pleasure of welcoming to our studios this afternoon His Majesty. <laughs> His Majesty. Right, thank you. Monk Monte <laughs> alongside the elegant... Natalie Pereira, welcome to the Thank studios. You. Thank you. Thank you very 10777. much. 10777. You're making me blush earlier. <laughs> You're making me blush this morning. Good it's, to be here. It's, it's, it's great to have you here. Good uh, to be it, here. It's, it's really an exciting time here in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm-hmm. I just came from the barber shop. Right. And I can tell you, everybody talking about Basu D. I didn't get my tickets. Yeah, yeah. I, I love s- that. I, I told my barber, I said, Marshall, coming on the show. Boy, see if you get 20 tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, a lot of people saying to me, hey, um, I need some tickets to Basu D. Yes. And you know, I realized yes. they're not even understanding this is not a Marshall fit. Yes. I do not <laughs> own a cinema. I don't have free cinema tickets. <laughs> In my pocket, my name is not uh, Mr. Chin from um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, movie well, from movie talk, you know what I'm saying? Yes. but they just saw a custom scene. Let me get 20, that's tickets. right, Let me get that's five right. Tickets. You know, but this is a movie, that's you have right. to go by the box office, yeah, <laughs> and get your tickets, yeah, yeah. Most let, let me start with Natalie. Natalie, welcome back to Trinidad. Hi, I, I know it's warmer than London. Uh, at the moment, it's a bit rainy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I brought the rain with yeah, me. Yeah, but it's still warm. Like home. It's, it's warm. It's, but it's, London, it's, I'm going to stick up for London a little bit. It's been a bit warm this summer. It's not right. been too bad. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, it is warm. Really. All right, I'll start with you, Natalie. I did a little research on you. I did some oh, homework you did? on you. I, oh, I, no. un- I understand that you wanted to be a doctor. I didn't want to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. I was being told by my parents and family, mm-hmm. maybe you should be a doctor. Right. Um... But it didn't happen. It didn't happen like yeah. that. You really wanted to pursue uh, uh, acting? Yeah. Um, I've always just been a storyteller and mm-hmm. an actress. And I just pursued it, no matter what every, anyone told me. I went off and studied. Mm-hmm. I used to be in church plays when I was younger. It was just something in me that's like a fire. Mm-hmm. That's an addiction. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to communicate with people's stories. Yes. So I went off and trained as an actress. And... Here I am. <laughs> and I understand I also understand that you 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 worked on a, in a lot of Shakespeare plays as well. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what my training was. Right. So, um, in London they they train you in Shakespeare yes. as like just a basic and then after that you can kind of go off, but whatever you do, whatever words you're speaking, you're trying to tell the truth and be the mo- most authentic to that story. Mm-hmm. So all stories come from the same, that's the basic thing yes. that for me, mm-hmm. that's what I've learned. And when you got the script to do this movie with, with, with our mega superstar here, how, how did you feel? I felt very intimidated <laughs> at first. Are I'm not going to lie. Are yeah, because serious? think uh-huh. about it, I had to sing. Yes. I had to live up to his standards. Yes. <laughs> you had, to, you I had I'll, to keep up with my acting skills. I had to keep up. <laughs> We will, we will get to that. We will get to that. Skills, <laughs> yes. Which is pretty difficult. Yes. <laughs> tell you. But you know what I learned? Because the thing that I learned from Trinidad and Tobago is yes. that there's this sense of freedom that when you've got that, it really helps you to just play. That's what actors are. Mm-hmm. They're grown up adults who keep playing and telling stories. Mm-hmm. And that's what we were doing. We were playing as adults and, and telling, telling the story. Yes. That's, exactly. a, that's a good point you just make. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The only country you could um, run through the streets for two days straight with no <laughs> traffic lights. With no traffic lights, yes. So that's real freedom. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. If you just join us, we're talking to Natalie Pereira. She's one of the lead actresses in uh, Basidi, which opens on Wednesday, brought to you by Scotiabank. Also, Digicel Play, Tribal Worldwide, Caribbean Airlines, Blue Waters, Sports Max, Pizza Boys, Rituals, and of course, TTRN. Mm-hmm. Marshall, I heard you in a previous interview s- stating that when you were approached with the script, um, you, you told the, the director that you wanted to do some acting classes. Right. And right. he said to yeah. you, no, 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 yeah. no, partner. I want you to be <laughs> you. Well, no, actually, you know, it's close, close. But um, what happened was when I got the script from the writer and the producer. Yes. You know, I, I was like, you know, you know, somebody will bring and say, we want to shoot a movie with your music. And by the way, we want you to act a role. Mm-hmm. You know, I was tempted to say, well, I don't really want to act. But right then, then you have to say yes. Yes. And right after I say yes, I was like, let me go and quickly get some acting classes to make okay. sure. Okay, so you did some acting. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on a pre- I was on a precious I yes. said let me get some acting classes yes. but then I met the director mm-hmm. and he was like look listen you don't need acting classes okay I work with musicians all the time it'll be easy mm-hmm. and you know strange enough it was pretty easy mm-hmm. you know? and I'm not sure it was just 
the director i think it was you know having natalie on my side yes yes give me a little coaching and seeing how she was you know working on her things in her head and plus two the pressure you know yeah. we shot this movie during carnival time. well i was about to get to that i remember you saying as well that you know you were performing yeah every every other night in fact and still having to get up in the morning and mm-hmm. to shoot in the day yeah how was that well that was, that was tough that was the toughest part but mm-hmm. you know the you know sometimes the toughest things are a blessing that's right and i will get on the set 5 a.m have to be wide eye have yeah. to go there and perform when you look at the the cast and crew this was a professional movie cast yeah. and crew mm-hmm. full like 150 people people sitting on there looking at me and Natalie and we have to perform yes. when you're under that kind of pressure Marshall just step up to the plate you know yeah. as be like yeah you know this is like going up in Soka Monaco against Super Blue <laughs> yeah. you have to yeah. bring you have to bring your A game bring your A game yeah, partner yeah. Yes, you know yes, and that, yes. that really helped me and actually made it you know pretty fun and easy let's let's talk a little bit about the promotion of the movie yeah um a lot of people and i'm not just mama guy yeah yeah you may need to explain to natalie what is mama guy <laughs> <laughs> i think she might know natalie you know is mama guy. I think you'll have to explain <laughs> so what, what would be the English explanation? Like Tom Foolery? To, it might be Tom It might be Tom Foolery. That's like a very ancient <laughs> Gas so, up your brain. Tom Foolery. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the word. But a lot of people talking about the movie. I also follow you on Instagram and I noticed that a lot of pro- you've been doing a lot of promotion. You guys yeah. have been doing a lot of promotion. And, uh, I was in Brooklyn recently. I saw the billboards. I saw the excitement in LA in different mm-hmm. places. Um, how has that been for you, being out there, maybe moving away from your music a little bit and really promoting the movie? Well, let's just say, you know, the aim of this film, which was a brilliantly written script, was to, you know, produce something that would be of worldwide appeal. Right. Um, we wanted to tell the story of the Caribbean. We told the story of a young lady, you know, you know, falling in love and love triumph over everything. But we really wanted this movie to be on par. Mm-hmm. and bring caribbean culture to the forefront mm-hmm. so it was always geared at international distribution right. after premiering at the film festival in Trent Tobago last year we found a distributor who was willing to take it to the next level was that difficult um well for us i think it was more like a blessing right place the right time in the Trinidad film festival there was somebody there and then for us you know it was the comfort of having somebody who we think understood what needed to be done mm-hmm. and um you know the rest of it was up to them they serafini films you know in collaboration with monk pictures myself right and um, so there is a in, monk picture yeah of okay. course i established immediately a business to, great, to great, support great. this process because this is not going to be the first or the last and that was you my next question you keep <laughs> up to my questions well, <laughs> would it be something that can we look forward to Abbasidi Part 2? Well, this is the journey. And yes. It's not necessarily Abbasidi Part 2, but right. I think we have a lot of stories to tell Caribbean mm-hmm. culture, mm-hmm. especially soca music. For me, this is another platform yes. to introduce soca music to the world. Mm-hmm. Soca music doesn't come by itself. you know. Yeah. It comes with carnival, it comes with mass, it comes with pan, mm-hmm. it comes with the, 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 the fact that you know we have such a diverse culture. you know society and yes. culture and we live in side by side. Our unique thing is how we manage to you know love each other's thing and accept each other's thing. So, you know, we had to promote this movie worldwide. We decided the, the, um, the distribution company released in um, New York City, in, in America, you know, yeah. worldwide, in a couple of states. So we're still trying to, you know, go one step at a time, go to Canada next. And we had to do the right distribution deal to get it to come to the Caribbean because it's a separate set of, you know, distributors you have to work with to, to work. get it back to the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I also understand that uh, even though it's an international movie, you're promoting internationally, you had a large cast from here in Trinidad and Tobago, people both on camera and off camera as well well i i wouldn't when i claim it as an as an international movie we wanted to make a movie of international standards I and promote it okay. internationally yes mm-hmm. but you know we had besides myself natalie we had kabir bd who was uh the the villain in octopussy james bond octopussy right mm-hmm. we had val Kimi from london who's at trini but uh based in london we mm-hmm. also had uh stars near mm-hmm. who's now on game of thrones yes and um Besides that, it was fully, you know, a Trinidad and Tobago yeah. cast. People yes. like Chris Smith, who is my manager. Cindy Daniel. Cindy Daniel, who's, you know, awesome. Tineo. Her right hand, Tineo Noalo, um, Rem Bongshan. Pauline. Yeah, yeah, so many great actors. Talents. But that yeah. was even, to me, that was even just 45% of the greatness. Mm-hmm. To me, the greatness on this film, what I saw with my own two eyes, mm-hmm. were the crew that was from Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. People doing the professional jobs of people in movies and I didn't know that we had so we had that many capability. young people yeah. with that capability. And yeah. some of them were coming in for the first time, but they were so impressive. 
that you know they went on to do other work with the crew that came from you know from away yeah. so it was really really happy for me to come on set and see such professionalism from Trinidadians and Tobagoonians in this film right. and to really make and we celebrating them as we release the film you know tomorrow and Wednesday Natalie was it how was it to 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 gel with Masha Montana because I understand you know I'm a movie pop fanatic I live on Netflix and those yeah. things and mm-hmm. and from the little that I know I know you have to gel quickly as actors and and really find that chemistry was yeah. that difficult to come by Like I said before I felt like it was really organic mm-hmm. it just felt like when they said action we it was went natural. right into it we yeah. just we just went into it there was no thinking behind it Marshall didn't have time for us to sit and think and rehearse and go over it over and, and over and, again and there was no there was no time you too. for that for her I think for Natalie it was like that too because she came mm-hmm. we had one reading and the very next day we were sitting down in my studio you know going over some of these songs and getting mm-hmm. her prepared to sing songs like one more time right. and getting her ready to sing songs like mesmerize the songs that she sings in the movie too you know so we were recording music during like during, between takes between takes mm-hmm. so there was never really a, a, a troublesome moment for us and she was mm-hmm. always telling me Marshall look, this is how you have to do it just back down the emotion back down the emotion. <laughs> I, was, I was going on there like it's best village yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, you know, back it down, back it down, you know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 with me with this singing, I was like, I have Natalie, more accent, more accent, yeah. you know? More, more, more loose, you know? My yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And we were going back and forth. So it was like a really um a, a windstorm that you didn't have time to really be nervous you or just to have work. to get it. And you had to play it quickly and get it. Yeah. And that's the fun of it. Yes. When you have to rise to the challenge, yes. that makes it way more fun. And almost immediately. How long did it actually take to to shoot the movie? It took two months altogether. Two months, okay, yeah. altogether. Which is a really short period of time to do yes. such a big movie of such a massive scale. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you know, we're getting so many different events in there, big, huge extras. We've got like the the director Todd Kessler had to deal with like all kinds of different activities going on at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it was, and, it and was we really did, we well shot, done. We shot some in Tobago. We mm-hmm. shot some in Trinidad. You know, we had three days in Tobago. One scene, you know, we went to Tobago. There was sea and sand and sun. Mm-hmm. And then one day, the whole day got Raining. rained out. Rained you know, out, we yeah. just had to adjust and mm-hmm. readjust. And, you know, mm-hmm. but, but the great thing about shooting in Trinidad and Tobago, again, watching the crew. I mean, I'd watch the professionalism with the Trini crew. Yes. But I also watched the foreigners, the guys who came from like Turkey and LA. Mm-hmm. They would be shooting and filming and holding their microphones bareback. And if they say cut, and we have like a five minute break, they'll jump in the ocean, yeah. swim, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. come back out. Yeah. They were so happy to, yeah. to, you know, to be on the island. To be yeah. here shooting. Yeah. 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 So it was, it was a, really, a really positive crew. Real, real good vibe. And cast. So, so what, what, what are your plans uh, after this movie? Because I know the premiere is Wednesday. I know you're anticipating sold out. Because as I said to you before, a lot of people are talking about it yeah. on the ground. And people are really excited about it. How do you plan to, to move forward? What happens? Is it, do you continue to promote the movie in other countries? Or are you going back to script? And well, well, the movie is an inspiration, first of all. An inspiration yes. for the whole film industry, you yes. know, and for the other people, the actors. And then the film going public. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, it is to go and watch, you know, one of these songs here. So yeah, you know, yeah, a lot of Marshall people excited. Yeah. Taking a touch mm-hmm. in a film. Mm-hmm. And then to go see that, Lee playing this role. Mm-hmm. And this story is about love and Trinidad and Tobago and music and carnival mm-hmm. so once we set that standard we want to encourage and inspire other people to do that but we also have the plan of rolling this movie out worldwide you know we're gonna yeah. do right now we do in uh, the caribbean and we're trying to gather more islands more islands as i say this is not my area i am not the businessman mm-hmm. you know there's a distributor who now takes charge of the movie and will keep continuing cutting deals in different islands we mm-hmm. have like about uh maybe 20 islands ready that the movie is opening in this month wow um, actually Wednesday so on Friday in Antigua you have Cayman Islands you have Jamaica you have all of you and then we still trying to uh, execute a few but then we have Canada coming online later this month mm-hmm. and then we want to get to the UK and then from there it's just rest this is how the movie business is you have to keep trying to sign deals yes. and get people to watch mm-hmm. this movie so sometimes the numbers count mm-hmm. so you know we went to the New York crew because the people who were distributing to it, they had the grip there and they have the, the diaspora the Caribbean diaspora who really came out and filled the cinemas night after night we had sold out mm-hmm. shows back to back right. you know and now we want the caribbean people to go out there and show the numbers because those numbers gonna help get the movie you know transferred to more and more deals and carried forward more and more so you know hopefully we, we get the, the sold out crowds 
for about a two weeks straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go in the theater and jam, wine, <laughs> you know, lime. It's raining at the moment. <laughs> 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 Marshall <laughs> and Natalie on the big screen. If you're just uh, joining us, we're talking to Marshall Montano, lead actor and also lead actress. Brought to you by Scotiabank Digital Play, Caribbean Airlines, also Tribal Worldwide, Blue Water Sports Max, Pizza Boys, Rituals, and TTRN. How important are critics? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, with movies, you see critics. This critic say X, Y, and Z. That critic say yeah. X, Y, and Z. How was that? experience for you in terms of uh, critics uh, looking at the movie mm -hmm. and drawing their own uh, theory about it well i think critics is an important part of the business mm -hmm. any business mm -hmm. uh for me you know i i have grown um immune to criticism right meaning that you know people will always have their own opinions of what you do and how you do and how you should do it mm -hmm. um but i think in the movie business for me when i drop on jump on fandango or i jump to watch a movie on apple tv mm -hmm. you know i want to see the the um the, the critics you know sometimes i look at the fans critics and yes. i look at the actual critics critics mm -hmm. but sometimes you know i look at these things and sometimes they're not always accurate you look at rotten rotten tomatoes and they might see a 51 percent and you might watch the movie and you enjoyed it that's you know so it's really about what you want to see and what you, and how you feel about it and then there will be critics who will give you the critics you know the, the, their critiques and i think we have had some really 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 good ones for the entire trip you know i've yes. been only seeing positive I, yeah I, I noticed that People as well very proud and yes i think it's you know at the end of yeah. the day this is the first of one of these in a long time mm -hmm. you wouldn't get to go in the theater and watch something and you know i won't i, I mean we come in after the theater run yes and i will run the theater for the longest there'll be netflix and there'll be iTunes and there'll be Amazon and, yeah. and they could watch it at home. Yeah. But we still want people to go out and get the theater experience. Yes. And really, you know, nothing like the, the theater, nothing like yeah. the theater experience. Yeah, I mean, I think people will definitely think it's a high quality product. I am behind it 100%. And, yeah. you know, a lot of people stepped up and came and supported us because of the, the, the quality of the film and the story. Marshall and Natalie, we just have about five minutes remaining. I really want to thank you for taking time out to come to our studios here at 1077 FM. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything you want to say uh, in closing to your fans? Because you have a lot of fans. Well, I mean, <laughs> first of all, I want to I want to thank all the people that were involved in this movie. Yeah. You know, so many people worked so hard, and not just the film and the crew and the cast, the, the cast and crew, yeah. but there were a lot of extras and a lot of people who were, you know, just there watching and cheering us on and helping us out. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a celebration for Trinidad and Tobago, but it's a celebration for Caribbean culture. And you know, for us, we want our soca music. We want our mass out there. We want to share with the world. So I want to share this with everybody and say, you know, go out and support as much as you could. We appreciate the support. And you know, let's let's put a, a you know a dent on the on the film business in the world. You know, let's let's step in the ring and throw our hat in the ring and get on back. Natalie, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, the, yeah. the, just the other day, I was at. It wasn't the other day. It was months ago. But I'm saying the other day. <laughs> it was. Um, I was at this thing in London called the App for Change. Yes. And it's uh, where a lot of ethnic minority people go uh, actors they go and they ask questions from like the big theaters and the film institutes and and they basically ask them why don't we work and uh one of the the main guys there said he, um he runs the theater the national theater there and he said because you've got to remember that we expect extraordinary quality yes yeah but what are they trying to say that, that you can't that that's that quality is not there and in this film i feel like that quality absolutely is there i'm so proud of this piece of work yeah. i think that it's something to be said that this film came out in times square and is coming out here Entering and that of the caribbean as well. it's yeah. creating scope for people it's creating work for people people are going to go out and get hungry a lot of the cast and the crew have got hunger to go out and make more films and to continue this and i think that that's a wonderful amazing and, and we thing. need that positivity here in trinidad and tobago Definitely. across the caribbean this is a family 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 film yes yes no, no, not too much uh, anything that will show off <laughs> it has some, it has some love and we can look forward some to some, some, some we, steam, we can look forward to some scenes can yeah. we yeah, hmm? yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a side that Marshall you will definitely um, you know love to see see me in my in my gears you know so um, just to let everybody know um, it's releasing on Wednesday right, right? Uh, all the cinemas nationwide which is Movie Town uh, Caribbean Cinemas uh, Big Up to Empire and National in San Fernando we will be there too and on Wednesday we also fly into Tobago 
to do a special premiere so we'll be in the movie town in tobago and big up to the digital uh, um, the imax gemstone theaters mm-hmm. will be happening tomorrow and big up to the scotia bank crew who will be checking it out in imax tomorrow it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be a good a good run you know all right where am i taking no, it <laughs> <laughs> natalie I'm gonna my you're gonna check in your back <laughs> let me call mr chin <laughs> <laughs> natalie monk monte thank you very much you heard it right here tnt basil d it's on opening tomorrow at cinemas nationwide.